Today I will be sharing five project ideas that you can use to practice HTML and CSS and build up your portfolio website. Hey everyone, if you are new to my channel, my name is Brenda Michelle and I am a self-taught web developer currently working in Web3 as a front-end developer as well as freelancing on the side. If any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with the project ideas. Number one is a form. Knowing how to work with forms is one of the most important aspects of being a web, de web developer. Forms are pretty much a part of every website or web app or application. So being a web developer, you're always gonna be working with forms. So whether that's styling or, fu or functionality, you should start getting comfortable with working with forms from the beginning, whether that's just building super simple forms with just HTML and then learning how to style them with CSS. Project number two, link and bio page. This is a really fun project that you can use to practice your HTML and CSS and more specifically CSS Grid and Flexbox to make sure that everything is everything's layout is perfect and you can even use this project later on and include the link in your bio for all of your social media pages so it's a win-win. Project number three, landing page. Every business, every small business owner or big business owner, everyone has a landing page. So it is important that you know how to structure landing pages, how to use semantic HTML, how to properly, properly use CSS styling to make sure that the landing page is responsive, make sure everything is congruent. So overall landing pages are a really good starting point, especially if your basic skills are just HTML and CSS. And then once you learn JavaScript, you can always add more to your landing page, turn it into a multi-page website, and so on and so forth. Project number four. This one is the most important one. If you choose any of the projects that I mentioned today, this is the one, and that is a portfolio website. I don't care if you have a computer science degree from MIT or you're self-taught, everyone needs to have a portfolio website. It doesn't have to be extremely extravagant and try to like impress everyone. As long as, I feel like when it comes to your portfolio website, simple is best. Um, try to have a simple design, simple, you know, make it responsive. Responsiveness is even more important than having like crazy animations and crazy colors and all of this. Keep it simple, make sure it's responsive. It doesn't have to be multi multiple page website. It can just be a one uh, single page um, scrolling website. But this is so important because it's gonna help you showcase who you are, showcase your skill sets, and you will have somewhere where you can post all these great projects. Project number five, business website. Any type of business website, a restaurant, an online shop, um, a blogger's website, a photographer, a website for a photographer to showcase their work. All of these are small businesses and usually, especially if you're interested in freelancing, usually the main people that you're going to attract in the beginning are going to be small businesses. So having a small business website example is really going to put you um, forth and show that you have a skill set that you can provide some value to this client. So I really recommend either a restaurant's website or even like a small online shop. It can be just like the design of it, you know? It doesn't have to be like fully functioning. Once you learn JavaScript, you can add that functionality um, and all of that is gonna really help you, you know, add this business landing um, page or business website onto your portfolio website and that's gonna help you gain clients if you are interested in freelancing. Okay, everyone, so those are the five projects that I recommend that you get started with if you are learning HTML and CSS and really want to practice and use those skills that you just learned and build something. And remember, they don't have to be perfect. I will link some of my beginner beginner projects down below so you guys can check out all of my beginner projects like they were very simple a lot of them were not even responsive they were not even 
uh, the, I didn't even use somatic HTML just start the important thing is for you to start um, and as you learn more you can add more like my personal portfolio website is like two years old I'm actually planning on redoing that I'm just working on designing something and then I'm gonna build it together with you all and then I also have a link on bio page that is really old. I think it's almost two years old as well. And I still have it linked on my Twitter and my uh, Instagram, um, but it works. You know, it has a functionality. It has its purpose. It doesn't look bad, but I w really want to build a new one. But you need to start somewhere. That's the main thing that I want to get across. Even if it's just simple HTML, CSS, and a simple structure, just get started. The more you learn the more you can add to it but let me know down in the comments some of your projects that you've been building or if you have any other project ideas that you think would be helpful for other followers or other people that are interested in practicing html and css let me know in the comments let's talk in the comments link your projects let's chat let's talk and i will see you all in my next video bye